Hi, hello, my name is Beth and th oh, interruption. This is Red Portraits, a show where I pick someone who's out of this world, tell you why I think they're out of this world, and then I draw them and I try to take ta out a different technique every single week. Did you get that? Did you understand what I said? I didn't. Today's suggestion comes from somebody who has been commenting religiously every single week. Zoe Trombley, your dreams are coming true, girl. Your dreams. We're drawing Gillian Anderson. Mm. Is it Jillian or Gillian? I should look that up before I do this. Ooh, I was wrong. It's Jillian. Also, Duriana suggested that I do something with pixel art, so I'm combining these two. I'm putting them, putting them together. We're gonna do a pixel art Jillian Anderson. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's do it. Cut. <laughs> Gillian Anderson is an American, British, film, television, and theater actress who was immortalized in her role as Davis Scully on The X-Files, and will now be immortalized in that adorable 90s jacket she wore in the season one episode of Darkness Falls. Although she was born in Chicago, her formative years were spent in London, and when she was 11, she and her family moved back to the Americas to settle in Grand Rapids, Michigan. She was a troubled teen. Jillian experimented with drugs at a young age. She existed in the punk scene and even got arrested trying to break into her high school. After going to school for theater, she swore that she would never move to Los Angeles and she would never do TV. We all know how that turned out. At 24 years old, Jillian had the opportunity to audition for Dana Scully, and she decided to go for it because, in her words, for the first time in a long time, the script involved a strong, independent, intelligent woman as a lead character. Although there was network pressure to hire a woman with more sex appeal, showrunner Chris Carter fought for Jillian and she was cast in one of the most influential TV shows of its time. In the 90s, we saw what was called the Scully Effect, as many young women were inspired to pursue careers in science, medicine, and law enforcement as a result of seeing the aforementioned doctor do her thing on network television. Jillian continues to work, and she has more awards for her film and television roles than I knew existed, and places on plenty of the sexiest women lists. So take that, Fox executives. What I appreciate the most about Jillian, though, is that she uses her influence through activism and charity work. She is an honorary spokesperson for the Neurofibromatosis Network and a co-founder of South African Youth Education for Sustainability. She is an advocate for women's rights, reproductive rights, and the Feminist Majority Foundation, being as much of a role model herself as the intelligent characters she plays. To be honest, drawing her like this is silly when I look at how dignified she is in life and everything that she's done. But you know what? This is my show, and I just need everyone to know that this was a costuming choice in 1994. Like this video, subscribe to Snarled if you haven't already. If you like what I do, my name is Beth. I have a channel called Beth B. Rad. You can find it on the YouTube or in the description down below. Leave me a comment telling me who you want me to draw in the next Red Portraits. And now we're here and check out my hat. Cool, right? It's got Hello Kitty and Tokidoki. It's like a combination little samurai geisha thing going on. If only I had an alien hat, that would have been more appropriate.